What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. The focus on this video is going to be on the best path for upgrading your different obelisks and how to best farm the polarized fractaline. This new material is very crucial to have. You need this to upgrade and increase your residence rank and you will need this for every single obelisk whether it be this one, the Tangled Shore, Nessus, or EDZ. So you're going to want to get fractaline and you're going to want to get it quickly and that's going to be one of the focuses of this video. Now if it's helpful guys hit the like button it does make a big difference. Even better, if you're not subscribed, that'd be the one thing I'd ask. I want to keep growing this channel, and I thank you guys for that support. Now, in my particular case, I recommend going for the Mars Obelisk first, mainly because of this enhancement, the Crucible Fractaline Extractor. This is going to help you out, and if you get it early, it's going to give you a lot of Fractaline throughout the entire season. So go for this one right away. Now, if you prefer Gambit over Crucible, then you can always look at the Tangled Shore Obelisk because that has a similar perk, but for Gambit. So depending on whether you like Gambit or PVP, you can focus on that Obelisk. But in my case, I like Crucible more, so that's why I'm at the Mars Obelisk and that's where I am right now. But you'll notice here to upgrade this, I do need to have some more Fractaline because I need to increase my Residence rank. This first one is pretty easy to get. But if I want rank two, and that's gonna give me even greater odds of getting Fractaline, I need to be residence rank five. So what are some other ways of getting polarized Fractaline? Well, you can get this from the Sundial, and more than likely that's gonna be how you get it very early on in the game, is doing some Sundial runs and getting that. As of right now though, we only have access to the very base level, and this only gives you 10 per completion. So that's not going to be the best way of getting polarized fractaline, but I suspect that in future difficulties at Legend and Higher, you will get more per run, but we will find that out at a later time. But you will need to play this early on to get some base level to get a little bit to get started. The other nice thing is there are some triumphs you can do, which will give you some polarized fractaline as well, and some of those can give you quite a bit. So for instance, if I look here at my triumphs, I do have one done that I have not turned in, and this was a time trial one, and this will give me a major fractaline. So if I turn this guy in, that gave me 100 right there. Now, other, other ones of these only give you minor, but you can do these early on, and that will at least give you a little bit to get started and get that very first extractor perk done. There's also bounties you can do too, and you can get those bounties from Osiris right over on Mercury. So make sure you grab those each and every single week. I have one of these done, and they give major as well. So if I turn that guy in, that also gave me 100. So make sure you grab all these from him, these weekly bounties, and get these done because that will give you a lot of Fractaline each and every single week. And it will give you just enough to reach that rank five. So if I turn these ones in, I'm just gonna bump me up a little bit more. Not only do I get my package, but now I can get Extractor 2. So if I grab this one, now we have even greater chances. So if I go for the very last one, which requires a rank 9, it's going to increase that even more. So if I play PvP right now, there's going to be a really good chance at the end of the match, it's going to give me 50 Fractaline. And you can imagine how much that will add up. If you get this early on, that's going to increase your gains throughout the entire season. And then I can take these extra ones I get and go upgrade the Tangled Shore one. That way when I'm playing Gambit, same thing. Once the Nessus and the EDZ Obelisks come out, I can do the same thing. And that way if I'm playing Gambit, Crucible, uh, PvP, it doesn't matter. I'll be able to get extractors from all those, and that's going to give me a lot more Fractaline. That will in turn let me upgrade the Obelisk here, the Obelisk there, and I'll be able to get all the different bounties and the mods. There's a reason why you want to do this. There's a lot of cool mods from it. You can get a lot of cool weapons from this as well. And if you're going for the new title, you need to have your Obelisk upgraded too. So you want to make sure you're getting Fractaline very early. In my opinion, your best bet, go for Mars, upgrade your Obelisk to rank two at least for your Extractor. That way when you're playing PvP, you'll be good to go. I want to make this video, if it was helpful guys, hit the like button. Like I said, let me know in the comments too if there's other things that I may have missed. Let me know in the comments and I'll pin the best one as far as the best tips on how to get Fractaline. I'm curious of what you guys have found out so far this year. Let me know what you think of the new season. I can't wait to keep delving into this further. Hope to see you guys soon, and best of luck increasing your ranks. See you guys.